Hello friends, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I served uh, in the Indian Air Force for more than a decade. I am basically a fitness freak. Uh, unfortunately, I was uh, bedridden due to second wave of coronavirus in the year 2021. And my right uh, shoulder is numb. There is no sense to my right hand. And I am trying my little best to get back to normalcy. I was born in a toxic family and grew up into a toxic environment. My life is full of struggles and uh, sufferings. So in this video, I will do a couple of uh, exercises to get back to normalcy. I have undergone several struggles and sufferings during my lifetime. For, uh, for almost a decade, I lived in single bedroom flat without court with my wife and uh, two sons. So, so these are the kind of challenges I encountered. I had financial challenges. I, uh, nobody came forward to help me. On the other hand, my siblings have betrayed. So I have en encountered all several kinds of uh, challenges. I don't get any pension and I don't have regular income because I worked in private colleges uh, which don't pay well and sometimes they don't pay salaries. So, so these are the type of challenges I underwent. I am uh, dyslexic, a slow learner and uh, I have ADHD, attention deficit, hyperactive disorder. Despite having uh, several challenges, uh, still I am trying to do my best and to leave my mark in the world. I have mental challenges, physical challenges and uh, financial challenges. I am uh, 59 years old and uh, after the brain stroke, I survived by the grace of God. And I am doing physical exercise, physiotherapy exercises for more uh, than a year. Sometimes I am stammering, sometimes I am forgetting. I have short term memory issues. But I am not giving up. Everything is possible in this world. Never ever give up. Life is great. And nowadays I am doing uh, physiotherapy exercises two hours in a day and two hours in a day I am going for a walk and six hours in a day I am sitting with the internet I am basically a creative writer but I am not able to write because of uh, inability of my right hand my right uh, shoulder was uh, my right hand was Paralyzed, so I am not able to type with my right hand, so I am typing with my left hands. So many challenges, so many problems I have encountered. Still, I am encountering challenges. My right hand, my right leg is problematic by working at 
trying to get people to walk. Uh, I'm a college dropout. At the age of 18, I joined the Indian Air Force. And uh, I'm lucky that uh, I came out of my toxic parents and toxic siblings at the age of 18. And uh, Air Force has uh, helped me grow as a healthy citizen. And uh, Air Force has developed a new positive attitude. Air Force helped me uh, grow as a healthy citizen. So I am always grateful to Indian Air Force for giving me an opportunity to grow as a healthy citizen and to grow as a leader. After I joined the Air Force at age of 18, uh, I, I I have done a couple of qualifications uh, like DME, BSc, MBA, MBA, PGTC, PGTBA, and and my PhD soft skills in the year 2011. So I'm basically self learner. Nobody gave me on a platter and. Uh, I, I acquired qualifications through my private education, not through a regular education. People think that I acquired qualifications from reputed uh, education institutions. Mm. But the fact is that I acquired uh, education through private education at the age of 18. So I'm a continuous learner. I'm passionate about acquiring knowledge and sharing my knowledge. Uh, I don't get pension uh, because I took uh, premature retirement uh, uh, after serving almost for 12 years. So I was into business for a decade and for the last 15 years I am sharing my knowledge really with the world, especially with the students on various social media platforms including LinkedIn and I have to YouTube channels. My vision is to build 1 million students as global leaders by 2030. So far, I have trained more, more than 50,000 students as global leaders. After the coronavirus, things have changed, so I started sharing my knowledge uh, online. And I started a, a non profit initiative, Mission 2031 Million Global Leaders. And Dr. Kiran Bedi, the first woman IPS officer from India, has written a foreword for this book. And I have dedicated this book to Dr. P.J. Abdul Kalam because I admire him very much. I have read thousands of books during my lifetime, including biographies. And uh, I read the books on Swami Vivekananda and various books across the world. Abraham Lincoln has been my inspiration since my childhood. I follow the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi and I also follow so Vivekananda. So, create your own destiny. Don't blame the circumstances and the people around you. Life is great. Great. Life is uh, not a cakewalk. So, be positive and be optimistic. And never ever give up. So I want to write uh, uh, a memory uh, or uh, uh, my autobiography. I want to share the challenges I encountered and the troubles I underwent. Uh, and how I was prepared to work with uh, sibling. So I would like to share everything. I have authored more than 50 books, including the award winning book titled uh, 
see the light in you. Or which uh, is going to be general among the noble or right here written a, a four word for this uh, book. So be resilient, create your own destiny, and the future world is high tech, volatile, complex. So be prepared for challenges and uh, uh, overcome the challenges uh, to excel as a great leader and as a resilient leader. The message from this video is that. Uh, Identify the important challenges that are close to your heart and uh, uh, address the challenges and uh, add value to others. Remember, you are gifted with a limited span on this beautiful planet. So, uh, use your time judiciously and impact and inspire the world globally. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel.